honest. Raw. Sublimation. Intimate. And love. My name is Sandra and I was born in France. After high school, I studied dance to become a professional dancer and a dance teacher. And around the world, I traveled for a bit. Then I went back to France um, and studied art therapy. So I started after that working with people with disabilities and mental health issues through dance, painting, and drawing and all kinds of things. We were just doing a photo shoot for fun actually and then seeing the photos and seeing how intense it was me and the photographer I've been working with um, we wanted to share that and then we based the exhibition on, on stories that I was writing and my, yeah, my texts and the topics are based on my own experience and I just wanted to share that I thought it was an important thing to talk about because I felt like it was very hard to talk about these subjects here. Apocalypse my love it's because apocalypse is something very negative right when you think about apocalypse it's the end of the world it's catastrophe it's horrible but for us it meant that in the apocalypse or in the bad things that happen you can find something beautiful and you can find something positive get something nice out of it uh, so it refers to the fact that this exhibition was born around trauma and mental health issues but in the end we made something beautiful out of it and the idea of it was to get the audience to enter someone's intimacy through different steps so each chapter goes deeper and deeper in the connection with the person for example in chapter one you just get to discover the shapes of the body uh, without seeing the face or anything Chapter 2 you get to go a bit deeper because you see the environment of the person, where the person lives. Um, then you go through her relationship with other people, then you go through trauma, and you get to meet the person in real life through a live performance. This video is called The Self and the Puppet and it's part of Chapter 3, The Others. Um, it shows the person for the first time entirely and you get to see how the other people interact with that person uh, other people who are represented by the ropes um, so we had five people uh, pulling ropes and I was dancing so it's all improvisation and it shows how the influence of, of others can really define your movements and your way of, of exploring the world really uh, especially when you haven't been through the whole process of healing yet so you really need the person in flesh, you get to interact with her through touch. If the people were, they had to paint my body, um, then you get to know the person, her, her coping mechanism, and the way she gets out of her um, mental health issues. And then it was an open ending, but basically, the message was don't fear intimacy, even though. It's a lot of negative things that we were talking about. We wanted people to feel like they could enter someone's life without being scared of anything. Because maybe the person experienced domestic violence or addictions or any kind of trauma. It doesn't mean that as a witness of that, we should be scared and, and run away. 